Abaca, binomial name Musa textilis, is a species of banana native to the Philippines, grown as a commercial crop in the Philippines, Ecuador, and Costa Rica. The plant, also known as Manila hemp, has great economic importance, being harvested for its fiber, also called Manila hemp, extracted from the leaf stems. Abaca is also the traditional source of lustrous fiber hand loomed into various indigenous textiles in the Philippines like Dalak, as well as colonial era sheer luxury fabrics known as nipis. They are also the source of fibers for sinamai, a loosely woven stiff material used for textiles as well as in traditional Philippine millinery. The plant grows to 13 to 22 feet and averages about 12 feet. The fiber was originally used for making twines and ropes, now most is pulped and used in a variety of specialized paper products including tea bags, filter paper and banknotes. It is classified as a hard fiber, along with coir, henequen and sisal. The abaca plant is stoloniferous, meaning that the plant produces runners or shoots along the ground that then root at each segment. Cutting and transplanting rooted runners is the primary technique for creating new plants, since seed growth is substantially slower. Abaca has a false trunk or pseudostom about 6 to 15 inches in diameter. The leaf stalks are expanded at the base to form sheaths that are tightly wrapped together to form the pseudostom. There are from 12 to 25 leaves, dark green on the top and pale green on the underside, sometimes with large brown patches. They are oblong in shape with a deltoid base. They grow in succession. The petioles grow to at least one foot in length. When the plant is mature, the flower stalk grows up inside the pseudostom. The male flower has five petals, each about one. Five inches long. The leaf sheaths contain the valuable fiber. After harvesting, the coarse fibers range in length from 6 to 12 feet long. They are composed primarily of cellulose, lignin, and pectin. The fruit, which is inedible and is rarely seen as harvesting occurs before the plant fruits, grows to about 2 to 3 inches in length and 1 inch in diameter. It has black turbinate seeds that are 0. 167 inches in diameter. The abaca plant belongs to the banana family, Musesi, it resembles the closely related wild seeded bananas, Musa acuminata and Musa balbesiana. Its scientific name is Musa textilis. Within the genus Musa, it is placed in section Calamusa, members of which have a diploid chromosome number of 2n equals 20. The Philippines, especially the Bicol region in Luzon, has the most avocado genotypes and cultivars. Genetic analysis using simple sequence repeats markers reveal that the Philippines' abaca germplasm is genetically diverse. Abaca genotypes in Luzon had higher genetic diversity than Visayas and Mindanao. 95% was attributed to molecular variants within the population, and only 5% of the molecular variants to variation among populations. Genetic analysis by unweighted pair group method with arithmetic mean revealed several clusters irrespective of geographical origin. Abaca fiber drying in Abaca farm, Costa Rica Abaca fiber in Leganoy, Camarina Sur, Philippines before synthetic textiles came into use, M. textilis was a major source of high quality fiber, soft, silky, and fine. Ancestors of the modern abaca are thought to have originated from the eastern Philippines, where there is significant rainfall throughout the year. Wild varieties of abaca can still be found in the interior forests of the island province of Catanduanes, away from cultivated areas. Today, Catanduanes has many other modern kinds of abaca which are more competitive. For many years, Breeders from various research institutions have made the cultivated varieties of Catanduanes even more competitive in local and international markets. This results in the optimum production of the island which had a consistent highest production throughout the archipelago. Europeans first came into contact with abaca fiber when Ferdinand Magellan landed in the Philippines in 1521, as the natives were already cultivating it and utilizing it in bulk for textiles. Throughout the Spanish colonial era, it was referred to as medronate cloth. By 1897, the Philippines were exporting almost 100,000 tons of abaca, and it was one of the three biggest cash crops, along with tobacco and sugar. In fact, from 1850 through the end of the 19th century, sugar or abaca alternated with each other as the biggest export crop of the Philippines. This 19th century trade was predominantly with the United States and the making of ropes was done mainly in New England, although in time rope making shifted back to the Philippines. Excluding the Philippines, abaca was first cultivated on a large scale in Sumatra in 1925 under the Dutch, who had observed its cultivation in the Philippines for cordage since the 19th century. 
followed up by plantings in Central America in 1929 sponsored by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. It also was transplanted into India and Guam. Commercial planting began in 1930 in British North Borneo. At the onset of World War II, the supply from the Philippines was eliminated by the Empire of Japan. In the early 1900s, a train running from Danao to Argao would transport Philippine abaca from the plantations to Cebu City for export. The railway system was destroyed during World War II. The abaca continues to be transported to Cebu by road. After the war, the U.S. Department of Agriculture started production in Panama, Costa Rica, Honduras, and Guatemala. Today, abaca is produced primarily in the Philippines and Ecuador. The Philippines produces between 85% and 95% of the world's abaca, and the production employs 1.5 million people. Production has declined because of virus diseases. Mats made from woven abaca fibers from the Philippines due to its strength, it is a sought-after product and is the strongest of the natural fibers. It is used by the paper industry for such specialty uses such as tea bags, banknotes and decorative papers. It can be used to make handcrafts such as hats, bags, carpets, clothing and furniture. Abaca rope is very durable, flexible and resistant to salt water damage, allowing its use in hawsers, ships lines and fishing nets. A 1-inch rope can require 4 metric tons to break. Abaca fiber was once used primarily for rope, but this application is now of minor significance. Lupus is the finest quality of abaca. Sinamai is woven chiefly from abaca. The traditional Tala cloth of the Puli Dreamweavers are made from abaca fibers 8 Puli Dreamweaver using a traditional loom the inner fibers are used in the making of hats. Including the manila hats, hammocks, matting, cordage, ropes, coarse twines, and types of canvas. Abaca cloth is found in museum collections around the world, like the Boston Museum of Fine Arts and the Textile Museum of Canada. Philippine indigenous tribes still weave abaca-based textiles like Dalak, made by the Tibali tribe of South Cotabato, and Dagme, made by the Bagobo people. The plant is normally grown in well-drained loamy soil, using rhizomes planted at the start of the rainy season. In addition, new plants can be started by seeds. Growers harvest abaca fields every 3 to 8 months after an initial growth period of 12 to 25 months. Harvesting is done by removing the leaf stems after flowering but before fruit appears. The plant loses productivity between 15 and 40 years. The slopes of volcanoes provide a preferred growing environment. Harvesting generally includes several operations involving the leaf sheaths. When the processing is complete, the bundles of fiber are pale and lustrous with a length of 6 to 12 feet. In Costa Rica, more modern harvest and drying techniques are being developed to accommodate the very high yields obtained there. According to the Philippine Fiber Industry Development Authority, the Philippines provided 87. 4% of the world's abaca in 2014, earning the Philippines 111 US dollars. 33 million. The demand is still greater than the supply. The remainder came from Ecuador and Costa Rica. The Bicol region in the Philippines produced 27,885 metric tons of abaca in 2014, the largest of any Philippine region. The Philippine Rural Development Program and the Department of Agriculture reported that in 2009-2013, Bicol region had 39% share of Philippine abaca production while overwhelming 92% comes from Catanduanes Island. Eastern Visayas, the second largest producer had 24% and the Davao region, the third largest producer had 11% of the total production. Around 42% of the total abaca fiber shipments from the Philippines went to the United Kingdom in 2014, making it the top importer. Germany imported 37. 1% abaca pulp from the Philippines, importing around 7,755 metric tons. Sales of abaca cordage surged 20% in 2014 to a total of 5,093 mount from 4,240 mount, with the United States holding around 68% of the market. Abaca is vulnerable to a number of pathogens, notably abaca bunchy top virus, abaca bract mosaic virus, and abaca mosaic virus. Thanks for watching.